Hey guys, Neil here from Puzzling Hearts, and I guess uh, I said the last time that uh, I was going to get some more videos of puzzle reviews up, and here's the start of that. Before I do that, I wanted to give you a, a quick tour of my, my new office. As you know, I'm now in Michigan, uh, so life has changed for me, but all for the good. I now have a fairly large office, I'll give you a quick tour, uh, and show you what I'm going to be doing. So, let me do that. Well, here it is. This is the majority of my puzzle collection. As you can see, everything is in boxes, and uh, that's going to be some fun. So I'm going to be starting to unbox all of this stuff pretty soon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a box off the shelf, pull it into my office, and I'm going to open it and start reviewing the puzzles that are in there. When I moved, I wrapped everything, so I don't even know what's in here for the most part. It's just a whole set of puzzles. But coming out into the main office, you'll need to kind of excuse some of the mess on the floor because I'm still in the process of organising. As you can see, I've started to set things up here. I've got display cabinets that are mostly empty. I have shelving units that don't even have shelves in them. Um, there is a big box. This big box down here is all my shelves. And as I start to unbox, I'm going to put a shelf in and put the puzzles in the box. The one thing I have managed to do is I've got the Stickman collection out and unboxed. Uh, you'll see there's a Mr. Puzzle there as well uh, and a couple of other bigger items that I managed to, to pull out. Uh, my really bent board bar it's one of my copies of that sitting there. So I'm not going to start by reviewing the Stickman puzzles. Uh, they will all get reviewed because there's a few I haven't videoed but I will get to that real soon. So there you go, that's, that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to start reviewing stuff and, and we'll just pull things out of boxes and see where we go. Okay, so now I've kind of shown you where I am and I said I'm going to start unboxing things. I'm about to break that straight off the bat because um, two weekends ago now I was at uh, the Rochester Puzzle Picnic. Given that I'm now on the East Coast and I was invited across and I had the great pleasure of going and joining Jeff and varying other puzzle friends for a weekend of puzzling. Now, while I was there, I happened to pick up a couple of new puzzles and I'd like to show them to you. So, first up, you probably recognise this guy. This is Chain Store. Um, this is Gopit Kayam. Uh, it was one of his entries into the IPP uh, design competition this year. And the goal is to take this wonderful little uh, five link chain and fit it into this box. Um, this is a fun little puzzle. I, I probably spent maybe 15-20 minutes to solve it. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, if you're tempted to make a copy yourself, as I know a few people have been, there are a couple of false solutions and the size of this box is really critical. Um, to get everything in here is a real tight fit um, with a huge amount of spare space, which you know is typical for a packing puzzle. But yeah, I really, really like this one. Uh, top 10 vote getter uh, IPP design competition this year, and I can see why. Uh, really, really nicely done. Um, this one made by Tom Lynch. So, if you should have copies of this available, go ahead and pick one up. This is great. The next one, uh, or the next two puzzles that we have, um, this is what Tom described as an impossible three piece cube triangle. Uh, you'll find this on Puzzle Will Be Played. Um, you've seen the solution shape, I've taken it apart, you have three pieces. Again, great little puzzle. Uh, Tom handed this one out at, uh, at RPP as a let's have a competition, see who can solve this the fastest. Uh, Brian Pletcher had it within about four seconds. Uh, <laughs> I kid you not. Took me a little bit longer, but yeah, a lot of fun. Um, the second one, I should point out, Tom didn't give us a solution shape. The second one is uh, a four piece of the same sort of idea. A uh, slightly larger version, four pieces. Really, really nice puzzle. Um, love both of these. Again, you'll find them a puzzle will be played. Uh, highly recommend picking these up from Tom. Uh, fun little challenge, well worth doing. Last one I want to have a look at is uh, I was very fortunate that uh, Ken was there, and Ken has a habit of passing me copies of his latest puzzles. This little guy, I believe, is called Little Bruce. Um, as a follow-on to Little Kenny, which I got when I saw him at IPP last year. Um, another lovely little four-piece puzzle um, connects into this nice little what's that, 4x4x3 four by four by cube and has that signature, if I can find it on here, 
Yeah, so there's a signature half cube on here, which seems to be one of Ken's nice little tricks. He likes putting those in there. Uh, this is a real fun little puzzle. A couple of nice twists in it, I'm not trying to give anything away. Uh, really great little puzzle. I spent probably 20 minutes, um, maybe half an hour working through this one. Not easy. A um, couple of nice little clues in there so you can get some sort of ideas how to proceed. And again, I'm very, very happy to add that to my collection of Ken's puzzles that I, I have here. So, with that said, there's a quick 30 seconds on four puzzles that I picked up at RPP. And I hope to be doing more of these pretty soon. Uh, next one should be delving into one of my boxes. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. So if you're still here, thanks for watching to the end, and as promised, there's the first puzzle shelf in place, along with the first four puzzles. See you soon. Bye.